we are going to uh, show a demo on a wireless hacking here we are having uh, some router with the security of WPA2 and we are just going to crack a password of WPA2 as we are having a Wi-Fi technology everybody is using Wi-Fi everybody is having Wi-Fi at their home at their offices and how could uh, how to crack the, how these passwords got cracked and how to provide the security to that Wi-Fi passwords we so, are going to have a complete demonstration regarding that so just to, to have it clear for everybody that's watching WPA2 is your standard Wi-Fi password that the average household has today yeah right? average also household is having a WPA2 password that yeah. is the most secure password currently which is being provided according to IEEE standards hmm. currently we are having three types of security WEP which is the most one currently the routers which are coming with the latest technology they are not having that type of password WEP that mm. anybody if you are having a, we can say in our hacking fields in cyber security field if you are having a WEP password then you are the most most vulnerable person on this earth anybody can have an pass have a password of your WEP okay. and if you are having a WPA and still the vulnerabilities can occur you can even get a password of WPA and WPA2 mm. but how these things happen just let's see in the demo also. yeah okay sir. Just begin the demo of how to hack someone's Wi-Fi. Okay, sure. Okay. We are having a Wi-Fi. We're having a wireless LAN card. This one. Okay. So, what exactly is the software that you are using right now? I'm using Backtrack. Okay. Okay. This is a hacker's operating system. Why it is known as hacker's operating system? Actually, it is having all the tools which are being required by cyber security experts. You can say. Okay. Okay. All the tools are already been and it is same as Windows operating system. And the As the Windows, this is, is an operating system, and it's easily available. Yeah, it is anyone. available. It is free to use. Okay. It's an open source operating system. Okay. 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 We just created an interface with the name of Mon Zero. Okay. Okay. This is an interface over which we'll start capturing a packet which are flowing in a air. Okay. okay. We'll just capture a packet. We need not having any physical interaction with that router, with that Wi-Fi router. Okay. Now what we will do, we'll just dump how many Wi-Fi's are there. For that, we just need to use a command, arrow dump, with an interface, mon zero. Okay. Now, it is showing, let me a little bit zoom out so that it will be more visible, uh, visible no, for no, you. It's perfectly visible actually. It's perfectly yeah. visible. Okay, just so let me. All these that say WPA2 are the Wi-Fi networks that are active around us right now. Yeah, these are. It is providing, uh, giving us details of Wi-Fi networks that are available around us. Okay. okay, it is showing some security. The router having some this MAC address, physical address, mm -hmm. having this security WPA2, having this security WPA2, and a little bit in our area we're having uh, some WEP Wi-Fi also mm -hmm. that are highly vulnerable. So these are 12 Wi-Fi networks yeah, that we that can see around. Yeah, that is almost 12 Wi-Fi networks that are available around us. So just to simplify this for someone who is watching this, when you click on your Wi-Fi icon on your PC or Mac, you see a number of Wi-Fi's which are not mm. yours, but your neighbors or other people in your building exactly. or area. So this is a different interface of that yeah, same Yeah, this visual. is only the okay. different interface. It is showing all the Wi-Fi network which are available around my network, around okay. my area, you can see. Okay, perfect. Okay. And now, you're going to show us how to hack into one of yeah, these. Yeah, I'm going to show how to get an access, get an password of these Wi-Fi. Okay. Now, over target is I'm just gonna stop it our target is main from the command control C no our target is lucidus okay we're having a Wi-Fi with the name of lucidus the, okay. as is tested uh, testing platform which is being created by me okay. so that we can do a testing over the Wi-Fi okay. and is having a security of WPA2 so it is essentially the most secure Wi-Fi. Yeah, it is the most secure Wi-Fi that most sec uh, updated security that I have given to this. Okay. Wi -Fi. Okay. Now what I will do, I'll just simply use some commands.
now we are capturing all the packets which are traveling in the air with the name of Lucidus. Uh, if we are having a Wi-Fi at our home, we are the legitimate user, we are the person who can, who can use that Wi-Fi. We are having some passwords over there, we are using WhatsApp, we are using a Facebook, we are using any web service whatsoever. The packets are the things which are flowing in between your device, your mobile phone you can say, your laptop, your PC between you and your Wi-Fi router. So the that data the, that's being transferred. Data is, that, is, that is being transferred mm -hmm. between your device and a wireless router. Now what we are going, we are just going to capture that packet from the air. Okay. That are being traveled in there. Okay. And we'll get a password from that packet. Okay. Okay. In case of, let's take an example, any legitimate users come in this network and he wants to make a connection with that router. Let's take an example of my phone. I'm just going to connect with that Wi-Fi yeah, okay. perfect. I'm just going to connect. I'm the legitimate user. Let's suppose any genuine person of a home of home just come in, in the office and just connect with her by entering some passwords. Okay. Yep. Now I'm connected to that Wi-Fi. This is a legitimate user which okay. is connected to that Wi-Fi. Now, this is the machine of hacker's machine. He is not having a physically connectivity, physically access to that person, physical access to uh, some client's operating system. Hmm. Now, what here it happens, it captures a package WPA handshake. Hmm. The packet that is being flowed from my system to that router, it just captures that packet. Okay. Okay. Now that packet is having a password whatsoever I was putting in my phone. Okay. Now I'll just capture that packet. I'm having a hash of that. Okay. Okay. Now what I'll do, I'll just stop it by just pressing Control C. Now I'll doing brute forcing air crack i'll use some another tool to get the exact password okay, okay. Hyphen w now here we'll give a path of a file now this is the file i'm just going to the path of file passwords what is this no this is the file which is already inbuilt in Kali Linux operating system or Backtrack or Hackers operating system. It is having almost 17 lakh common passwords which are being used by people. Now what this password file will do, it is having an almost common all uh, common password, 17. We have number of word lists, these password lists are available on the internet. Some okay. 20 GB, 15 GB, even if, even of 1 TBs size of password list of commonly used passwords. of commonly used passwords wow. okay now what i will do i'll just match these password lists with the uh, hash which i have captured using the last uh, command which i have done okay i'll just doing just let me close it first just drag and drop for the exact path no by simply using air crack tool press enter let me check. Enter. Now what it will it will start matching a phrase. These are the phrase which is taking from that list that I have shown you. It is okay. matching with that hashes. It will take some time and the matching speed you can see here 927 uh, average keys per second. Okay. Let okay. me zoom in if you want with it. Okay. Some hacking sana. It's matching keys. Hmm. Okay, as soon as it will find the same password with the user have entered, it will show us here password password phrase found. It will take only two to three minutes to okay. get the exact one. And what what if the password that is set is let's say not a part of that list that you have? Yeah, if the password that is the security, your password should be minimum of ten to fifteen characters long. But the commonly uh, people can't remember such a long password. In that case, the password should be like a phrase. It is not possible to remember a password which is of 20 characters length or 30 characters length. In that case, we need to have a password which is like a phrase. Let's suppose my password should be like that. My name is Palvinder. I am from Lucidus. That will be easy to remember. My name is Palvinder. I am working in Lucidus. If that type of password I'm having, I don't think so any password list or any such tool can crack that. That is a security. Your password should be minimum of 15 characters long. It should not be commonly used passwords, some common dictionary files, some common names, some mobile number. Even mobile numbers are limited. You can say mobile number, Indian mobile number starting from 789 having on a limit of 10 characters. That can also be cracked. 
if you are using such password then you are creating a vulnerability for yourself also. okay so suppose if for someone like me let's say my name is samir uh -huh. my birth year is 1986 mm -hmm. so if i keep it samir 1986 and my first pet's name and then my mother's name so yeah. that is still a complicated yeah, structure that will be considered as a phrase yeah okay yeah, and that, those are more secure passwords than let's say just samir 1986 yeah you should it should be combination of some words also samir 1986 having some pet name having some class friend name it should be combination of some frames because the password list in case of wpa2 and wpa you it uh, hashes are being matched with the list that you have provided okay but it cannot just pick up so if if the password does not exist in that list then if, it will not pick it yeah up. definitely that's why we always say the for security in wireless your password should be a phrase but mm. all these hackers i'm pretty sure keep updating this list very Def very regularly definitely we are having some text file text file generally of 50 kb or 100 kb simple notepad file in case of password list it is of 1tb 1tb a you, note file a, a, a notepad text file, file. Yep, yeah exactly so just for everybody out there who is listening to it a text file that you write a document and save which is about 10 kb to maximum 300 kb if you put a few yep, images or exactly. whatever that file with the list of passwords available is up to 1 terabyte yeah exactly. because then i think we've uh, keyword found oh uh, yeah exactly voila we just found the password of a wifi or you can just directly connect to your phone connect to your wifi to any uh, you can just search your wifi and just enter this password it definitely will gonna connect and this is showing us with the caps lock so if it is fighters the f is capital yeah it is showing in caps lock the f f means f is capital okay okay so this okay so this is a password if you want to test you can check it on your phone this is the exact password that we have found Okay so we're actually going to try this so I don't have access to the Lucidius uh, password right now and this is my personal phone that I am using and uh, I am going to open the Wi-Fi and as you can see I have an Android smartphone I found Lucidius it is a secure password a pa it's a secure Wi-Fi network because it does have the lock next to the Wi-Fi symbol that we can see and I put it and I'm going to do the show password just so you guys can see it it's a capital F and then I G H T E R S and connect and there you go and I am connected and let's just randomly open a web page and show you guys that it actually is connected to uh, the Wi-Fi and here we go it's working and might be up. some internet issues yeah but as you can see i am connected right up there it is giving me the wifi but i am getting an exclamation mark which uh, of course uh, signifies that there is some because this is a we not uh, this is a testing uh, router which okay, we so have created we didn't have provided an internet connectivity this is the legal platform okay. over which we was testing here okay so yeah so this is so the router that we have isn't connected to the internet but if it was it would not show me the exclamation mark and i would be connected to the internet so if you are someone that ideally has a simple password which of course can match a list of 1 terabyte so is there any number that has been put x million word phrase combinations yeah, that are out there you can create your own pass phrase you can there are some tools like crunch you have some word list generator in which you can just directly give the uh, length how much length you want to create you can give five characters five characters what type of password it will generate a list having combination of special characters having a combination of capital characters small letters numeric some values okay another thing is a lot of people for convenience say keep the same password for their phone or their wifi and so just to combat things like this there are a lot of third party softwares like one password uh -huh. there are many such things is it secure to use such no, third party no i don't think tools? so that things are secure because if we talk about some good reputed companies the last year there was got breach in case of breach you are just providing your all credential you are just placing your all all credential important information at one place if by any how that credential that single place got leak got vulnerable you are completely got exposed to the rest of the world okay now uh, giving a personal example there was an organization that i worked for where our email accounts were linked to gmail mm -hmm. and uh, we got an email from the it saying that our email has probably been compromised please change your password mm. in such situations can you tell us what as consumers as users we can do we were told let's say two factor authentication mm -hmm. is one step So, any tips, any things that uh, a viewer can keep in mind? Yeah, definitely. Thinking. That's a very good question that everybody should know. 
फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल योर पासवर्ड शुड बी मिनिमम ऑफ टेन करेक्टर्स मिनिमम ऑफ टेन इट शुड बी कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ योर स्पेशल करेक्टर्स सम न्यूमेरिक करेक्टर्स और यू कैन से कैपिटल लेटर्स स्मॉल लेटर्स इट शुड बी कॉम्बिन इट शुड नॉट बी लाइक दैट योर इफ एम हैविंग पलविंदर माई पासवर्ड शुड भी पलविंदर वन टू थ्री इट शुड नॉट बी लाइक दैट ओके एंड यू मस्ट चेंज योर पासवर्ड फ्रॉम टाइम टू टाइम ठीक है एवरी थ्री मंथ्स मिनिमम एवरी मैक्सिमम सॉरी एवरी थ्री मंथ्स यू मस्ट चेंज योर पासवर्ड एंड ट्राई डू नॉट यूज योर सेम पासवर्ड फॉर ईच एंड एवरी अकाउंट बिकॉज इन केस योर एनी वन पासवर्ड गॉट लीक्ड इन केस फॉर लेट्स पोज टेक एन एग्जाम्पल योर फेसबुक पासवर्ड इन केस ऑफ योर फेसबुक पासवर्ड बाई एनी हाउ गॉट लीक और यू जस्ट शेयर योर पासवर्ड विद एनी ऑफ योर फ्रेंड और कलीग और फैमिली मेम्बर If you are having the same password from your bank accounts, your Gmail accounts, from some other accounts, they all gonna be compromised. Compromised. Okay. And uh, so now you just showed us how to uh, hack someone's Wi-Fi. And if someone's Wi-Fi is, let's say, compromised, is there any way as a user for me to come to know that my Wi-Fi is being hacked by Definitely. someone? Definitely. In router, there is a security feature. It always provides a DSCP table. Okay. Okay. From that you can get to know your router, your how many persons are using your Wi-Fi, or you can use simple tools something like Nmap or Network Scanner. It will tell you how many devices are connected to your Wi-Fi. If I am the only person who is having authenticated to use that Wi-Fi, and in case of network scanning, I have to know that three persons are connected. Then definitely two persons are the outside persons who had hacked into my Wi-Fi. Definitely you should need to change your password. So another way of putting it is, if you are an individual and you have six devices connected, and if there's a seventh one that is there, then that seventh one is one? not yours. Yes, yeah, exactly. Because as a user, I have Wi-Fi in my house. I have three phones and three other gadgets that three are connected. Three other gadgets. Yeah. So. Count the number of gadgets that are connected to your yeah, Wi-Fi. Yeah, definitely. And then... as a security, you must know how many legitimate devices you are having. It doesn't matter you are having four phones, you are ten phones, but it matters. It must be proper. Have you must be having a proper checklist. You must be having a proper list of a devices which can be connected to that Wi-Fi. One more security feature for Wi-Fi is having a max security. In our routers, there is a security that you can even enable MAC filtering. Okay. By Mac filtering, you can just put a Mac address of your laptop, of your mobile, or any digital device which is having a Wi-Fi facility. You can put a Mac address on your router if any unauthorized, unwanted users try to connect that to Wi-Fi, even if it's having a password, it will not be connected to that. Simply because the Mac address, Mac because address. Okay, so just to simplify it, Mac address is just a unique identification address of that particular that device. That is media access control. That is a physical address, NSA card, yeah. network interface card yeah. address. So for all those of you that are watching, know that your phone, your laptop, your tablet has something called specific as a MAC address, and you can put that specific address in your Wi-Fi router. So even if somebody else has a password, as long as their MAC address is not a part of your router, it will not connect. Exactly. Sir. Okay, Palvinder, thank you so much for this demo. It was absolutely uh, exhilarating to see a Wi-Fi account get hacked. Is there anything else that you think our audience needs to know that we haven't spoken about? Definitely, you must not be connected to open Wi-Fi. That are the most vulnerable things that can happen. Some people's got crazy. Yeah, we got a open Wi-Fi. We got a public Wi-Fi. We're going some public places. We got a Wi-Fi, and they just start using the internet, having a Facebook accounts, having some credentials account, or maybe banking account. That should never ever be happen. It is highly, highly vulnerable thing that you are going to do. Thing is not that you are having a free access. That can be hacker. That can be scammer. That can be any person who is just watching you. What you are opening. What you are entering. What you are putting. What you are chatting. Anything he can watch by sitting in between you and your server. Whatsoever you are hacking. So even in places like restaurants, on the airport, now even on uh, the train station in yeah. some certain cities, the government is providing free Wi-Fi. Definitely. It, and th are those also very risky to use? Yeah. the risky it matters in multiple condition but even if you are using wifi at that places try not to use your credentials you can put google you can do googling you can search for you can search for train timing you can check for airport plane timing take off timing landing timing something but do not log in your bank account details your credentials your gmail accounts by just entering your passwords okay so tip for when you are using public wifi don't open facebook don't open anything that demands a password yeah exactly okay palvinder thank you so much that was that was a very enlightening experience even for me this is the first time i have seen something get 
hacked and for all those of you of course that are watching you can subscribe and check out some more videos that we have on hacking in the descriptor below thank you guys for joining us we will see you in another video